everybody. Happy Friday to you. And also, happy National Fondue Day. I just have learned about this national day and I am here to celebrate it. Welcome to Morning After and we welcome Jen Munoz, who's a lifestyle and gift giving expert to Morning After as well. Hi, Jen. Hi, how are you? I'm well, I'm just so ready to celebrate National Fondue Day. I don't have any of these supplies. So first of all, let's start off with fondue pots. What would one look for in a fondue pot? Yeah, so it depends on the occasion. And if you're doing something like super fancy and you wanna like make it special, you can use a fondue fountain. We, I think you guys have a fabulous yes, let's one show up, it, you guys. Um, from Party City. And it's one of those that you put the chocolate wafers in and it's just a really fun thing, whether it's kids, adults, whatever, to be able to dip your stuff in. Guys, show um, the fondue. And show the fondue pot. Can you spend like the last eight hours working on this fondue pot if you guys can show that shot? Okay, if not, just go ahead and go ahead and move on, Jen. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's flowing. I'm so impressed. In all I of its it. glory. It looks like we have like a slice of cheese behind it ready to <laughs> ready to dip in something. Can you do cheese with the chocolate? I don't know. Try it, Ron. I've <laughs> yeah. never done that. Is it good? I'm about to find out. Yes. And you know what? The the when you look at your cheeses, Ron, like Piazzo cheeses Ooh. made that board for you, and she specifically picked things that would be good to dip with chocolate fondue. But oh. I can't double dip right because I bit the cheese, so I don't want to stick it back under the fountain. I mean, oh, it depends dang. on who else is eating out of your fountain, Ron. I mean, I mean, I, I, Ron who's might eating out of your fountain? That's our morning claim. express question of the day. <laughs> okay, so you say with chocolates, you want to choose Belgian dark chocolate fondue pots and chocolates yeah i think you know you can do white chocolate you can do oh, dark okay, chocolate. okay you can do and, and you know the have also like the electric chocolate fondue pots you can use those as well if you want to not have the fountain you know near you or you can do something like the little eye fondue mm -hmm, i'm so glad i fondue pots where you just have a little tea light candle, which is a nice thing. Those are from Amazon and they have all different kinds of chocolate. So those are great. Well, and, and so we like what I'm holding up right here, these are, so you guys, what you're saying is you could get these, right? Yeah. The regular mm -hmm. basic chocolates, melt them, have a good time. Yep, and you can stick them right into any of your fondue pots and just keep them warm so that they are great for dipping. And then there's also this little guy from Uncommon Goods. It's okay. a Belgian dark chocolate fondue oh, pot that yes. goes in the microwave. So it's super easy. They have peanut butter, raspberry, all kinds of delicious flavors. Um, so if you just want like a little snacking fondue, if you will, those are perfect for that. Or if you just kind of like want to dip your toe into, the, not, not literally dip your toe into the fondue, but don't want to go all out and buy the pot you can dip your toe in, <laughs> dip your cheese in. Yes, yes. <laughs> to yes. the at-home version. Yes, that is exactly right. And you know, there are so many great things you can dip, right? Yes, um, let's so talk about it. So if you're making your stuff at home, like you said, um, you want you want to make sure you have some cute little um, bowls and things like that. So we've got some great ones from Martha Stewart Collection from Macy's. They're little heart-shaped bowls, which are perfect for Heart Health Month as well as Valentine's Day coming up. Um, and the, Or you can do like your own little charcuterie board type thing at home where you put all your little different things in there. Or if you wanna just make it super easy for yourself, Jenny, yes. you can order one of these from Piazzo Cheeses. This is so insane. you can do the board, Ooh. right? And it comes in the box, all freshly packaged. And yeah, try it out, let me know what you think. That's a great gift. Exactly. How, how guys, much is that, Jen? How much is this? That is $75. Worth um, every penny. And it is worth every penny and I can't even tell you like the amount of love and care that goes into those and like I said she made that specifically for chocolate fondue but she can put anything together local business we know we we're just talking about supporting small businesses that's a great way to be able to do it um they're beautiful you know fruits nuts everything and nothing against flowers but it's a nice alternative if you're and expecting flowers, flowers and you it. get this instead right yeah, exactly. And then we've got beautiful macaroons from Farina Bakery. Those are handcrafted, beautiful colors. They add a little pop of color. Marshmallows, always a good one. These are some of my favorite marshmallows. You can order right off Amazon. Um, and then you've got Rice crispy Treats that we had Did that made. have Morning After on it? It has Morning After on it, you guys. Oh, they do. It has the logo. Very cute. And I have so to tell cute. you, they are delicious. And oh those are from a corporate cookie company that you can get any logo put on those. Yeah, give it a, please do. They're please really do. good. 
now that Ron already used the fondue, now I'll just have to sit over here and eat this entire mm. cheese board by myself. It's Very fine. Nice. Happy, happy Friday to me. <laughs> Jen Munoz, <laughs> this was so fun. And you know, I do think it would be fun to do, it'd be like a fun little family dessert activity or happy Valentine's activity that you could do on your own with the ideas you just shared or just get that whole big cheese board. Jen Munoz, thank you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you can make it as easy as you want. Oh man, I can't wait until she can come in and do this in person. That was fun. Okay, so she is at thepressretriever.com on IG at thepressretriever. Thank you again, Jen Munoz. Ron, I